Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a bit since I last uploaded another video, uh, but it has been even much longer since I have uploaded a Scholar Box video. Now, since then, I have been piling up a few Scholar Box boxes, but I'm not going to be opening up all of them, but I will be opening the recent one that I have received, which is right here. As you see, for this occasion, I have done nail varnish. Um, I'm not the best at doing it since I'm not one of those people that like stressing up themselves or whatever, but let's begin. Now I have covered up some of my information here with, duck, uh, with um, one of these tapes. I forgot what they are called because I'm bad at naming things. But I have covered it to cover my information because I couldn't peel it off. My whole table shaking. Let's see what we have got today. Oh no, some of it has came out of this box. Let me put this on the side. Ooh, they're acrylic. So I am a bit, um, I have a bit. I have a bit of a cold, so that's why I might be like speaking like this. So here we have like, it looks like one of those street art that you just like spray paint or stuff, which looks very cool. And here's the art. As you see, it like correlates to the sticker right here. And we've got the paper. Which is thick, like how I usually receive all my papers, so that's good. Let's see the artist. If you want, you can read through this and check out their Instagram and Twitter. Okay, let's check through the art supplies. Put them out. First, we have the treat, which is mini mentos, and it's lemon. I like treats that are lemon, so. Um, wait, let me, let me check something. Ooh, I got another pen. I had this pen before, but I think I lost it when I went somewhere. But it's a smaller tip. This is cool. I just had to check with my pens if I had this pen before because, as you see, it's very similar when you show it like this. Then, if you look above, it's different. So we have this pen, then we have a pencil, and we have these acrylics. These are very cool because uh, loads of these Squilla Box um, materials I have not used before. So this is like a black one, then a magenta or pink one, then a cyan, then a yellow one. So these are the materials. So what we're going to do is, I'm probably going to have this later, I'm going to just put that out of the way and we're going to look at the Squilla Box Challenge because that, that will give us most of the uh, inspiration for what we're going to be doing with these art supplies. So Squirrel Box Challenge is Chaos Confined, that's maybe why we have so much going on here because it's meant to be chaotic and everything all over the place. Probably, uh, probably this time around, I'm gonna be doing it in my sketchbook, but, but I'm gonna be doing the ideas on the sketchbook they provided us. So let's have this next to us and let's sketch some ideas. Before we do that, we should probably uh, open these up and test them out. So I'm going to need to figure out which way to open these. Problem with having these nails is that they're very short, so it's going to be a bit hard to open them. There we go, open our first one. 
and we're going to be testing these out on paper. Are these the same like Poscos? Yeah, they are. Can you shake them first? Yeah. So one time up and then two times and then yeah. Okay, I see it coming out a bit. Yay! They're coming out. This is how they look. They're a lot like Poscas. I actually have two of my Poscas right here with me right now. So they work kind of the same. Let me just see how they go together. So this is one of my pink ones. And they're almost practically the same like there, the difference. Let me actually write which one's which with this one. Uh, so we have the uh, let me see if I'm spelling this correctly. Queer. Look. And um, this is Bosco. <laughs> okay. So I know this pen works and this pen. So there's uh, open up the others. Okay, now all the others are open, so let's test them out. Uh, after shaking them and daily activating. This one's taking a bit longer to activate. Oh, yep, it's coming out. Let's maybe shake it again. Okay. One more press. And it's pretty much activated. Now the yellow and then the black again. Camera keeps on shaking. This one's taking a bit to activate as well. That one came out with a lot of paint. Now let's finally do the black one after all this activating. Oh, it's out. And that's really black. Now, um, from all of these, lots of paint come out if you activate them enough, which is very good. And hopefully they'll last a long time, because if these act a bit like Poscos, then I'd like to use them a lot on some stuff to do. Because with Posca, what I did on my mean time with the ones I showed you, I created this, um, Red on this uh, pencil case and pen case I got, so it's very nice. 
let's come up with some thumbnails. I'm not sure what to do because my style is quite different from the artist we saw. So I'm trying to think of what type of design I want to come up with. Let's get the one that we have on screen so you can get some inspiration. Here's what they came up with with all the colours they had. They used lots of weird characters like weird shapes like this one here using the nose, the eyes, the mouth, the ear, I believe that's the ear. Then I believe this is another character and then a little character here, I believe those are eyes and then hands. So let's come up with an idea. I think I have an idea after brainstorming for a bit. So the idea that I had is you know on YouTube where people just draw like random shapes and just like draw a random figure on it. That's what I'm thinking to do, like random figures all over the board and then all over the paper and then drawing random figures like that. Something like that and then with like the colours, what I can do is then just like, let me just quickly go over this figure I did. Hopefully remembering what face I did on it. Then we do like that. And if we grab the black acrylic, then, wait, do we need to wait for this to dry? Let me try and go around it, because I think I'm going to need to wait for the um, magenta one to dry. Like, what I'm going to need to do is something like this. Yeah, but we're, we're gonna do it on a larger scale, so it's not like gonna look like this, but if we carry it on, then it will be like a big page of like random characters with like the same color scheme and the same idea all bunched together. So let me uh, grab out my book and let's start that. So here's my sketchbook, the one that I've been using uh, since our last video we did. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's just a draw with me where I was drawing these characters for you guys. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a sheet of paper just doing the dust away, but I forgot I had this. Okay, so let's start, let's start sketching. And a few moments later, I still have a cold. Anyways, before we're doing the sketching part, we're going to be doing a... Uh, I keep on calling it duct tape, but I know it's not duct tape. But we're going to put this type of tape like around the border. So then when we're done with the art piece, we can like remove it and it leaves like a nice white border around the art piece. So we're going to be doing this. Uh, this video roughly took me like an, an hour to record, but like I had to short it, shorten it by a lot. As you see, this video will hopefully be 32 minutes long. So yeah. And now we're, I'm going to grab my pencil and start sketching out the idea. I think I had a rough idea of what I wanted to draw. So like I started drawing um, weird figures all over the place and it actually came out really good at the end. When coming up with the figures, I had many options to choose from. So what I picked was some blobs. Uh, squares and I also did a sun as you see um, I also did some lettering like a P and an A and added lots of goofy faces as much as I could think of I tried uh, coming up with ones that like match the theme like with the colors we were given because they were very bright and colorful so for the sun I did color it in yellow honestly out of all the school scroll the box videos I have created I feel like this is my most favorite art piece that I have made out of all of them because this one shows lots of color and it looks like street art and it honestly makes me feel really happy out of all the ones I created here
I'd like to also thank you guys for helping me reach 355 subscribers. Uh, it's been uh, <laughs> it's been a crazy journey throughout how I started YouTube and how I got here. This is not like a 355 special, but it's just uh, this section of the video is a thank you for getting me there because like I haven't imagined to get there this fast. Even though it doesn't seem like a huge number for me, it's starting as a little artist right now, hoping to have bigger dreams in the future. I hope, not to seem crazy, but I hope getting to uh, 1 million, it doesn't have to happen like at the end of this year, but way in the future I'm hoping to get there like almost every, uh, every other artist there starts little, always has a big dream. So now we're starting on to the um, colouring in portion of the video. Right now, um, what I'm going to be doing first is colouring uh, all of the uh, figures with just a solid colour of one of the colours. Like the sun I'm colouring in yellow, as I said before. And then after I colour in all of them with a base colour, then I'll be like doing, uh, well after they have dried obviously, then I'll put the black paint over them doing the uh, emotions and little things everywhere. Having said, this is my first time doing this style because uh, like I, I'm not used to it and since this was a challenge from School of the Box I took on the challenge of doing this type of style for my first time and yeah it was very fun doing this style because like it's out of my comfort zone and breaking out of my comfort zone sometimes uh, can be very good for some people especially artists because then you get to try new things and then you realise what you're capable of later with what you have done. Once you uh, place the colours down, you, you like finally uh, get to see how the colours look contrasting 
between each other. I think it looks very cool at this point and then later I start like adding colours overlapping each other after adding all the faces and stuff. I just think it, it looks really cool, the art supplies it, uh, they've been able to send out. It's like Scroller Box is a good company where they send out art supplies where you, you can't even think about because like they just send out so many good art supplies which like motivate you to actually do something. I just seem so like creative. <laughs> Uh, basically what I'm saying is like it motivates uh, anyone if you want to try it out yourself um, the one that I got is a 12 a month pack which it sends one every month and I'm on a prescription right now so anytime uh, a new one comes out it just it takes the money and says oh you have purchased one or something so it keeps on coming to me but now I have like a big uh, storage uh, thing of uh, wait how many do I actually have except from this scroller box I have five five other scroller boxes in my storage which is quite a lot and I haven't opened any of them so uh, most of the videos in the future will probably be opening up scroller boxes or me opening them on my own you decide because I honestly don't know if you guys like these videos or not so please tell me in the comments so I know whether or not to upload more scroller box videos so you can see This process of colouring in sadly did take a long time because I'm having to do lots of voiceovers and I am starting to run out of a few things to say but I'm just enjoying just watching this on silent it's just I'm not sure if you guys would so that's why I have to keep on thinking of stuff to say but yeah this process anyways did take a pretty long time so but I hope you guys love the music that I did play along with it because honestly uh, I like the music as well. I think it's called Tokyo in the City, I believe it's called, and it's a really nice tune that I like to listen to. While you watch me colour this in, I'm going to be listing uh, some of my uh, YouTube videos that I think you should watch after obviously watching this one. Um, there's uh, The Draw of Me, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video which I did which was a calming uh, video where you guys uh, just watched me um, colour in and draw four characters on a piece of paper and then the one before that was a three marker challenge which was voted by three people on the community tab which uh, I can't remember the colours if I remember it was orange blue and purple and you can go and check out that video and then the one after that was creating a Halloween OC for Halloween which uh, was last year and it was a nice video as well you can go and check that out and then the one before that was also in near Halloween and it was on Halloween season where I drew a candy corn as a human and the one before that I titled as do I know even how to use these which was me using some like oil pastels I think I remember and I have used those before using before doing that video so that was a fun experience to try them out again the one after that was fruit combined with an animal which is a video where I spun the wheel to see uh, which animal I would get plus whichever fruit I got which you can check out as well and then uh, the one before that also I did a testing out new pens which I got this like very small pack which is like way more smaller than the pack I have right now I have a pack of 320 Ohuhu um, brush pens which I do use on some of my, some of my shorts and then the first ever video which I have done which was like nine months ago which was last year which was 69 views was my first ever scroller box unboxing video 
which I did with, um, if I can remember, I did with paints, and I did this nice animal drawing, which you can also go and check that out. Ooh, and my newest video, which I uploaded before this one, hit 81 views, uh, which is my highest uh, views on videos on YouTube so that, that made me really happy when I just checked it right now while doing this voiceover so thank you guys so much for uh, bringing this much support I feel like this is just a thanking video where I'm thanking you guys but I'm like actually happy that this is happening right now This is a few days later and I have been testing out these acrylic pens for a few days now and uh, even though I've been saying a lot that these do remind me of Posca's quite a lot, I see many people maybe saying there's a resemblance and so am I, but the thing is, not as Posca's, they um, cannot be like painted on all types of material because the problem I'm having here with this type of paper is that I'm having to keep on reactivating them because of the struggle I'm having with um, of it like drying out. Well, it's not like drying out, but since uh, the paper that I'm applying on is not custom to the pen, it's not like transferring properly. Anyways, now we move on to the um, line a bit where I use the black acrylic pen and start um, doing the outlines, doing the facial expressions and adding any more details I need to with the black pen. This is also a reminder that I now have Twitter um, where you guys can either direct message me or private message me uh, uh, any OC that you'd like me to create in my own style for one of those videos called Drawing Your OC in My Style. Th those videos I'd like to hopefully do in the future, so if you'd like to send me it over, my Twitter account name is in the uh, description. Is it the description or something like that? And it's also in the uh, community tab if you'd like to know what it is.
Hi guys, I hope you loved the time lapse. And here is our finished result. Actually, not yet. We're still going to peel off this. Now, I'm not sure where I started. I think I started here. So, just need to finish off so we have the remains. But it should show a nice border, hopefully, around this. And here is how the finished result looks. That actually looks very nice, much more better than I expected. You can't really see the whole thing since my camera is quite small. But this is how it looks. And uh, oh, what's the date today? I really want to finish up with the date. Um, let's see, the date is uh, 5th. I hope you guys liked, liked, <laughs> liked today's video and I hope to see you in another one.